Hi everyone. Today I'll be telling you about Refugee, a novel that you can read as part of the IEB's seven book independent reading requirement for English home language students. The book is an easy read about an important topic. If you are in any way a compassionate, caring person, who feels compelled to do something about the many social injustices in the world, then this is the book for you. The author, Alan Gratz, based the novel on actual historical events, making the plot realistic and more hard-hitting as the tragic stories unfold. Alan Gratz is an American author of 16 best-selling young adult novels. He's an English teacher by profession, but has written stories his entire life. And for those of you who are writers, take heart. It took Alan Gratz 10 years and more than 65 rejections from publishers before he was able to publish his first book. Refugee is a novel about three refugee children from three different countries and three different conflict zones. The novel has an amazing twist when we realize that the stories of these children are joined by a surprising thread. Listen as I read the blurb from the back cover. Three different kids, one mission in common, escape. Joseph is a Jewish boy living in 1930s Nazi Germany. With the threat of concentration camps looming, he and his family board a ship bound for the other side of the world. Isabel is a Cuban girl in 1994. With riots and unrest plaguing her country, she and her family set out on a raft, hoping to find safety in America. Mahmoud is a Syrian boy in 2015. With his homeland torn apart by violence and destruction, he and his family begin a long trek toward Europe. All three kids go on harrowing journeys in search of refuge. All will face unimaginable dangers, from drownings to bombings to betrayals. But there is always the hope of tomorrow. And although Joseph, Isabel and Mahmoud are separated by continents and decades, shocking connections will tie their stories together in the end. The setting of the novel covers these three countries during three different times of conflict. The three protagonists, Joseph, Isabel and Mahmoud, live in very different places and times, but their stories are eerily similar. As a reader, you'll soon understand that the difference between refugees and yourself and your own families is nothing but luck. I appreciate the anonymity of the faceless characters in the picture on the right. These three children represent all refugees. In this way, Alan Gratz has provided a voice to the voiceless. The first page of the novel starts with Joseph, a Jewish boy in Nazi Germany, just before the formal outbreak of World War II. Crack, bang, Joseph Landau shot straight up in bed, his heart racing. That sound, it was like someone had kicked the front door in, or had he dreamed it? Joseph listened, straining his ears in the dark. He wasn't used to the sounds of this new flat, the smaller one he and his family had been forced to move into. They couldn't afford their old place, not since the Nazis told Joseph's father he wasn't allowed to practice law anymore because he was Jewish. Across the room, Joseph's little sister Ruth was still asleep. Joseph tried to relax. 
Maybe he'd just been having a nightmare. Something in the darkness outside his room moved with a grunt and a scuffle. Someone was in the house. Joseph scrambled backward on his bed, his eyes wide. There was a shattering sound in the next room. Krish! Ruth woke up and screamed, screamed in sheer blind terror. She was only six years old. Mama! Joseph cried. Papa! Although this book is about three particular refugee children, it really is about all refugees and how the rest of the world treats them. I'm sure you will remember this photograph of Alan Kurdi, a three-year-old Syrian refugee who drowned while making the trip with his family from Syria to Greece. As human beings, we cannot be unmoved by these stories. We dare not be unmoved by them. Alan Gratz's novel should challenge us and our collective and complicit silence. If you like historical or topical stories about controversial issues, then I recommend any of these books by Alan Gratz. He's currently writing a novel about 9-11 called Ground Zero. It will be published in February 2021. If you would like to watch more book recommendations, please subscribe to the Mrs. M Teaches English YouTube channel so that you are notified every time I post a new video. If you have any recommendations, please drop me an email and I'll see whether I'll be able to turn your choice into a video for other students.